Hello, I'm the Dark Master, and welcome back to my LEGO Reviews. In today's video, we shall be covering set number 7614, Thanos Mech. It comes with 152 pieces, a single sticker sheet, and a single minifigure. As always, let us start with the figure of the set. <music> The sole minifigure of the set is none other than Thanos, the Mad Titan. Admittedly, it is rather odd seeing the large guy as a standard minifigure, instead of a big fig as he's been seen before, but I understand that it's a reasonable change to better fit in the mech build of this set. I only wish he had some of that armor that would have sort of carried over from the big fig. But let's cover the figure as it is now. On top, we see Thanos wears the Overlord's helmet piece, molded in gold. That looks very good, even if it's not really a new piece, nor did he really wear one in the movies, in all honesty. He honestly looks more like that guy from Pawn Stars, if we're being honest. Going down to his head which is a light purple that is arguably far more saturated than what he looked like in the movies. There is only one expression, which is a darn shame since the helmet covers the back of his head fully, so I don't see why they couldn't have put on a second expression. Removing the helmet, we get a better look at that angered, scowling expression. We see Thanos' iconic testicle chins, but I must say his red eyes are pretty off-putting. Like, did he ever really have these for a significant time period in the comics or the movies? I don't really know, but you can tell me down in the comments section below. I also kind of like the prominent cheekbones, but eh, they're not really much to talk about. Overall, a perfectly fine print on a perfectly fine head, I guess. Going to his torso... We see he wears a navy blue jumpsuit, and he has golden armor and prominent pecs. It looks fine, though. It's really nothing special. The back print is also fine, but it's even more forgettable, to be honest. His arms are dark navy blue and has golden hands. Perfectly fine and decently accurate to the comic, but nothing special. Going down to his legs, they are molded in navy blue and bear golden utilitarian printing. Again, perfectly fine, but nothing particularly noteworthy. Overall, this is a perfectly fine minifigure. It is a decent representation of Thanos, but I don't know if it really captures what it means to be Thanos really well. I mean, it is a standard minifigure as opposed to a big figure, and much like Hulk, it always looks kind of odd when you see such a physically imposing person that's supposed to be so much bigger than everyone else look the same size. It's really bizarre. Now let's go over the stickers. The sticker sheet is really small with four identical stickers that honestly look kind of like some weird golden belt. Like it looks like something the WWE would make. They're fine, but completely unnecessary, and can honestly be easily left off if one really doesn't like stickers, and nothing really would be lost. I personally don't care, but it's really up to you, and that is an option. In terms of pieces, the set has a fair selection of gold ones. In both versions of LEGO Gold, you got the metallic color that's not really been seen a lot anymore since Bionicle died, and the non-metallic warm gold 
I'll be honest, I prefer the metallic color, though I can understand it costs more to make, and that's why LEGO doesn't like doing it, but I don't know. I kind of wish they did. I honestly kind of think that the warm gold looks pretty fake. It, looking back, it doesn't really look all that good. I mean, it it seems like what a, a parody of gold, you know what I mean? But, you know, they're nice to get anyway. They also have the printed Nexo Knight shield piece, which is pretty good. We also get one by one circular plates and numerous translucent colors that are meant to represent the Infinity Stones. And honestly, that's the best you could hope for, really. The leftover pieces are really nothing much to talk about, but I do appreciate the extra Infinity Stones, as to be honest, you could very easily lose these small pieces, and it's always good to have backups. Now that we've covered the pieces, let's cover what the pieces build and whether it's actually any good. Much like Lloyd's Ninja Mech, this is a small mech, doesn't really have a head, rather a simple cockpit that the minifigure sort of sits slash stands in. It's fine, though the use of a slow piece instead of studs does mean the uh, uh, attachment isn't nearly as well done as in the Ninja Mech. At least the cushions do look comfortable in their tanness. The cockpit has a hinge piece that can be opened slightly for ease of putting a figure in. It also has the Nexo Knight's shield piece molded in navy blue with pecs printed in gold. Going to his arms, the shoulder bears that metallic gold plates I talked about before and navy blue slopes. It can be articulated all around to a pretty good extent and is honestly decent. The low arms bear inverted slopes in navy blue and gray with those stickers I talked about earlier. It's fine and gives the arm good articulation, but it's in the end of the day pretty forgettable. Going down from there, we see that the hands of the mech are asymmetrical. The left hand is far more standard fare with a golden slope and four exo force arms and gold that serve as fingers. And you know what? For what they are, they have decent articulation. You can get the uh, fingers into a bunch of poses, both mundane and special. The right hand is far more interesting. Firstly, it is larger, so it gives off a sort of fiddler crab vibe. Secondly, it has five fingers, something not often seen, even in larger mechs. Third, the fingers have two points of articulation instead of one. The thumb and fifth finger even have a third point of articulation. Each finger and the top of the hand has one of the infinity stones. The time stone, the power stone, the space stone, the reality stone the soul stone, and of course, the mind stone. Obviously, this hand is meant to represent the infinity gauntlet. Overall, the right hand is a great Lego version of it, though, and I hope more mechs use the five fingers, even outside of the whole infinity gauntlet context. Going to the waist, it has a gold ingot belt thing, but more shocking is the waist articulation, which allows remote posing. It is sadly limited by this sort of weird, like, I don't know what how to describe it, but like crotch armor that prevents it from going all the way around, and that's honestly a bit of a shame, really. The upper legs are nothing really to talk about, just being sort of identical to the lower arms, though they do give decent articulation. The mech's lower legs are a great deal more bulky, with more metallic gold, a tan, and pearl gold. The articulation is still pretty good despite its increased width. The mech's feet are surprisingly well designed, and they give a good base for a mech. The back of the mech is just plain forgettable. It clearly wasn't designed to be viewed from this angle, and you can tell real easily. So what are my overall thoughts on the set? Well... The minifigure is a perfectly fine representation of Thanos, but it does have some odd little details that I noticed. The mech has decent articulation and a decent appearance, though it is kind of forgettable. Unfortunately, for all the positives this set has, I mean, it really lacks a soul of creativity, and it is a licensed set, and those are sort of just all cancerous warts on LEGO's brand. 
I, I, I do find it humorous that, like, my brother was banned from a Discord just for saying he thought this set was kind of odd and not that good. And honestly, I can only really recommend this set for diehard LEGO Marvel fans. Heck, I didn't even buy this one. A relative got it for me, so, yeah. So, as you can tell from my voice, I am a little sick. It's not COVID, by the way, just so we're clear here. It's not that. And this will likely be the last LEGO review for a period of time. Just because, like, I'm not able to buy a lot of sets at this current time period. And so, for now, I'll just be reverting to Ninjago lore and the Kirby Right Back at you retrospective. I hope you all understand, but... If there's any content you'd like me to make, I'm open to hearing it. I'm the Dark Master, and join me next time on my LEGO Reviews. Have a nice day, and take care.